Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and today I'm gonna show you a pickup upgrade, my second one. Um, yeah, I was thinking about changing the pickups on this Epiphone SG Special that I'm customizing or changing bit by bit the parts that I don't like. Uh, and uh, at first, my idea, of course, was to get some cheap pickups, because that's my thing. I do cheap things. But then all of a sudden a store had EMG pickups on crazy sales, so I got one. So you get an all-American, not the most expensive, but rather expensive pickup and actually used by professionals. So, yeah. And um, yeah, this pickup is rather different from uh, the ones that actually are in the Epiphone or most regular pickups. It's an active pickup. Yeah, I want to talk a bit about what active pickups are because the EMJ81 uh, is one of the most, maybe the most famous active pickup there is. Uh, these are passive pickups, the ones that are currently in the Epiphone guitar. And they use, as I explained in my single coil humbucker comparison video, they use magnets and it's basically an electromagnet that pick, picks up the vibrations of the metal in the strings. Um, an active pickup is that as well, but uh, the actual pickup is m of a much lower output and it has a lot of... Uh, pros because that's uh, the problems with these kind of pickups that is that the magnet pool that actually comes from these when they pick up the vibrations from strings actually stops the strings from vibrating because it's the pull from the magnets are that strong so the metal can't vibrate free but if you take away some of that magnet pool and i'm going to use just one p pickup even so i'm going to remove one of them and just use the one EMG81 uh, you get less magnet pool and then again since it's a lower output uh, lower uh, powered magnet basically it has even less uh, magnet pool on the strings so in theory they should vibrate more and the sustain should be enhanced so how do they get the output of the pickup to be loud? Because the EMG81s are known to be one of the loudest pickups there is. Well, that's the active part of it, because built in into the pickup is a preamp. So there's electronics that actually, like any amplifier, amplifies the signal of the weak pickup. Um, and this has some advantages as well, because uh, this allows you to have to EQ the sound, and that's what you do with an EMG pickups. They, yeah, it's a preamp, so you can add some treble, add some mids, whatever you want. And um, but this is of course fixed; you can't adjust that uh, EQ curve. But it is very noticeable, and therefore the EMG pickups, uh, yeah, they give you. a very different sound compared to other pickups passive pickups not the least and I will show that in a video where I compare these horrible crappy standard pickups on the Epiphone and uh, and the EMJ the ones so you can see that video here so go there to actually hear the difference well, finally, since they are active and since there is a preamp, it needs power and um, yeah, it runs of a nine volt battery. And uh, but my experience, I've used EMGs before and active pickups, uh, and you don't have to change that battery that often, so it's not really something you think about. Yeah, I'm gonna look into the pickup cavity and start replacing things, so let's dig deeper. Yeah, here we have the interiors of the SG Special, and uh, yeah, it's not too bad. There's actually some shield metal on the inside of the 
cavity cover and it's actually painted with some kind of shielding paint i think it's not attached like on the squire ones where that is actually attached to the ground wire uh, so i don't know how it actually works if it even makes a difference well but so you can see the pots are rather different and that's probably because this has this kill switch built into the tom pot well i will remove all of this Except the toggle switch, which I will try to make into a kill switch on, uh, yeah, coupled to my EMG pickup. So yeah, let's remove this. Pickups removed. I don't know, I can't see, people are saying that these guitars are made out of plywood. It doesn't really show anyway. I'm not going to say it's not true, but... I don't see anything that proves it in these cavities. Or in the back cavity for that metal. <laughs> uh, well, it's all painted black, but you don't, you should be, yeah, you should sense that there's something wrong here. Okay, all removed. And this is the ground wire connected to the bridge. And the theory switch is still there. Uh, I should say, the EMG pickups, they come with everything you need and the most importantly, it comes with tone and uh, volume capacitors. So I get not only to upgrade the pickup, I get to upgrade the capacitors as well. And a lot of people say that makes difference and I'm quite sure it's true. I've heard uh, comparisons between Epiphone and Gibson guitars where they usually the identical, the actual same pickups and they sound so dissimilar that it's hard to prove by any other or like see no other reason than that the capacitors on the Epiphone is causing the problems basically so uh, yeah that should improve the sound as well so in goes the EMG pickup I won't show that uh, in detail at all EMG has much better videos I'm sure because uh, they actually have really good videos about how to install their pickups. So, yeah. But I will show you the package, what it's, what's included. Uh, just a second here. Even the package is actually from the US. It says somewhere here, printed in the United States of America. So it's very American. Uh, let's get this out. Okay. There's the baggage. And yeah, I got a gold one. Usually EMG pickups used to be all black and then they added white as an option. And I think actually it was Metallica, one of the most famous EMG users in the world. They wanted metal pickups for their like Gibsons. So now they have it in several metal colors as well. It doesn't affect the sound at all. So that's the actual pickup. Made in USA. Can we get that? Yep. And then we have all the good stuff. So here's all the wires and all the connectors and everything. And here are the tone and volume capacitors and the EMG uses these solderless connections oh let's see if we can get that to focus there you go there you go solderless connections all over the place and you get instructions for how to do it so I will try to follow them okay here you have it um, the EMG pickup is in place. The only problems I had when I installed this was with the, these knobs actually because they the holes were too small in the Epiphone guitar. Well, if you have a round file, that's not a big issue. And the output jack is too short, so it couldn't fit all the shims that are supposed to be here. So, well, well, it'll probably work anyway. Here's the back. Oops, Barry. Need to find something to put that in place. Well, 
that's it. So you have the volume here, the tone there, and the output jack there. Uh, I had to scrap the kill switch ID. Didn't really work. Probably me doing doing something wrong. Okay, well that was it. This has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd installing a EMG81 pickup. Be sure to check out my sound comparison. And see you soon. Bye.
And here's the EMG-81 in the neck position. And here's the EMG-81. And finally, the EMG-81. And that concludes my comparison. Uh, as you probably noticed, I recorded this video over several days, so I haven't heard them back to back. So it will be just as interesting for me to hear the difference, actually. Um, there wasn't that big of a sustain difference, at least. I can say that, because I can remember, can remember how long the other one was. And uh, I'm not sure that I got exactly what I wanted when I did the other pickup upgrade on my Strat. I think I got, I got exactly the sound I wanted, but I'm not sure I got that with the EMG-81 in this guitar. Because I wanted more treble and more high-end definition. And when I had EMGs in other guitars, it has given me exactly that. So, well, well. I'll get to hear it and you got to hear it now. So this has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd comparing stock Epiphone pickups, the T 700T and the 650R compared to a EMG 801 in both the bridge and the neck position. I hope you found this useful. See you soon. <laughs>